Good morning, everybody. Here, welcome back to the complete story. Today, I hope will be amazing lecture how to do transcranial Doppler step by step approach, life approach. By using a 2 MHz phase array probe on the temporal region above the zygomatic arch, 1 to 5 cm anterior to the ear, we can insonate and localize the major basal cerebral arteries by color Doppler to see the actual flow and the direction of the vessels and activate the spectral Doppler to measure the different velocities and the pulsatility index. Let us see this practically. First, which probe? It is simply a phase array probe and you will choose from the software in the machine the transcranial Doppler examination. Automatically, we'll choose 2 megahertz. You can get it from the software in the machine. It's very easy, okay? Always, you need to look for this mark and this mark. In this, this mark in the monitor, on the screen, okay? And this mark in the face array probe, okay? You, you, should you should match these marks together to be well-oriented in space, as we see uh, now. Here, the actual position of the phase array probe, I am now examining this left side. The patient will look to the left side, and I will put the phase array probe with the mark will be posterior or anterior. It should be matched with this mark here. You should match together. This will be in posterior in front of the ear, above the zygomatic bone, okay? This is, this is the position, actual position, in front of the ear, above the zygomatic arch, and this phase array probe will be 30 degrees from the horizon to cut an oblique axial view. You will expect to see this view with this oblique axial view. But this here, here is the right side. This is the right side examination. Here is the probe, here is the posterior, I, I put the mark on phase array posterior on the right side, and here is the anterior, here is the lateral, temporal region, here is the medial. You will cut axially, oblique axial view of the brain, and you will concentrate on the central to see this beauty butterfly appearance or Mickey Mouse appearance, which is the midbrain, around which you will expect to find all the basal cerebral arteries as we will see in these lectures. You will see here in this area, the posterior cerebral artery. You will see anterior here from medially to laterally, middle cerebral artery. And you will see here from medial, from lateral to medial, anterior cerebral artery. So, phase array probe is the temporal region here, 30 degree from the horizon, and you will tilt until you get this butterfly appearance of the brain stem. Sometimes it's difficult to get it, so you can, rely on another clue, which is the bone, bone of the skull. As you see here, this is the cut of the bone of the skull. Here you will see the lesser sphenoidal wing. Here is the apex of the pyramid. And here is the upper ridge of the vitreous pyramid. This curve is very important, and you will see very clearly in the transcranial Doppler. If you didn't find the uh, butterfly, you will rely on this curve which is the lesser sonoidal wing, apex of the pyramid, and upper ridge of the vitreous spot. As you see here, this is the brain stem, and you will expect the vessels to come all around here. As we see here, you will see the middle cerebral come from the medial to lateral. This is the anterior cerebral. This is the posterior cerebral, okay? We'll see here in clear way. This is the actual uh, transcranial Doppler of the anterior cerebral artery on the uh, left side, <clears throat> on the, sorry, right side. You will see here, here is the temporal region. Here will be the phase array. Here will be the posterior. Here will be the anterior. Here lateral and the medial. And as you see here, here is the bones of the skull, which you should look for here. This is the right side. Look for this CT. 
this will be the lesser synoidal wing this will be the apex uh, or the pyramid apex this will be the superior ridge of the petrous board okay as you will expect the anterior cerebral artery will come from here go from the medium lateral to the medial here okay so you will pass medial to the lesser cerebral wing you see here very clear because the bone is very important landmark you should know about here is the right side here is the lateral medial here is the lesser synodal wing lesser synodal wing here is the apex here is the upper ridge of the petrous bone and as you see here the anterior cerebral artery will go from lateral to medial away from the probe so will appear in blue okay again again this another view this is the left side left side this is the phasal ray probe here in the temporal region here is anterior here is posterior here is lateral here is medial here is as you see here the lesser synoidal wing as you see, the lesser synodal wing, and you'll expect the middle cerebral artery will pass lateral to it, as you see here, will pass lateral to it. As you see here, will pass lateral to it. Okay. This is the bone, this is the vessels. Okay. It's very important here to know both the butterfly or the Mickey Mouse, and if you don't find the Mickey Mouse, you will rely on these bones of the skull, which is lesser synodal wing, the apex of the pyramid and the upper ridge of the vitreous board. It's very important. Anatomy. Sorry, it's anatomy. Let us see here actual videos of the uh, uh, cerebral uh, vessels. Actual uh, color view and later on we'll see the Doppler study. Here is the right side. I am examining the right side. Here is the posterior. Here is the anterior. Here is the lateral. Here is the medial. And as you see here, this is the middle cerebral artery going from the medial to lateral. But because the flow is towards my probe in the temporal region here, you will expect to see the flow red color. Because the rule of the color flow, the, the, of the color Doppler, any flow towards the probe will appear in red. You see this beauty middle cerebral artery in red coming from medial to lateral towards my probe. What else? Here is another right side anterior cerebral artery here is my probe phasal ray probe in the temporal region here on the right side here is a posterior here is the anterior here is lateral here is medial as you see here internal anterior right anterior cerebral artery going in nice blue away from my probe so it appear in blue coming from medially to from lateral to the medial very clear view of the anterior cerebral artery what else here is very, very nice and very beauty, very clear view of the cerebral vessels. As you see here, here is right, I am, I am assessing the right side because here is the temporal region. Here is my probe, phasal ray probe. Here is the posterior, here is the anterior, here is the lateral, here is the medial. I am cutting oblique axial view so I get this beauty butterfly Mickey Mouse view of the brain stem and as you see here the vessels will bath all around this area as you see here this is the first part of the posterior cerebral artery curving around the brain stem here so in the first part it's coming towards my probe here so it will appear in red here is the middle cerebral artery coming towards my probe but there is here because i the, unfortunately here the color scale were low because of that you will see aliasing but if i adjust the color flow here to 50 or 60 i will see nice red nice homogeneous red it's my mistake sorry i need to adjust this color flow okay here is the first part beauty red here is coming the middle cerebral artery here coming toward this my probe in red okay this is the anterior okay let us see another here. good view this is another right side view this is that the phasal ray probe in the temporal region this is a posterior this is anterior he is the beauty brain stem hypoechoic area 
Here is the second part of the posterior cerebral artery, which is curving around the uh, midbrain. And in this second part, away from my probe, so it will appear in blue. Marvelous. It's very clear. And you see here the bone. You can see also the bone. But here, landmark uh, butterfly is very clear. What else? We can see here the complete story, the complete circle of wheels. Here I adjust the color flow. You will appear here, but this is, as you see here, this is the right side again, the right side. This is the anterior, the brain stem. This is a posterior. This is posterior, anterior. Here I am, phase array in the temporal region. Here is the lateral, here is the medial. Let us see, this is the first part of the posterior cerebral artery. We get again the first part of the posterior cerebral artery going towards my probe. So it's in red. And after that, we'll go second part away from my probe will be in blue. Here is the middle cerebral artery. It's going towards my probe appear in red. Here is the posterior, the anterior cerebral artery away in the right side. Anterior cerebral artery is the right side coming away from probe in, in blue. And here is the anterior cerebral artery from the left side coming towards my probe to meet the uh, right side anterior cerebral artery. So it is in red. Again, complete story, complete circle of wheels. Mickey Mouse, brain stem, anterior cerebral artery red coming first part, coming to my probe. Middle cerebral red coming to my probe. Anterior cerebral right side away from probe. So it is in blue. This is the right side anterior cerebral artery. This is the left side anterior cerebral artery red coming to the pro. We'll meet this uh, right side with the anterior communicating and we'll complete the circle of wheels. This is very clear view of the circle of wheels here because you will expect to see the posterior cerebral here and this will complete the circle of wheels. What else? We finished now the color view. After you get this marvelous color view of the uh, cranial vessel, basal cranial vessels, you need to do the Doppler study. This is the middle cerebral artery Doppler study, but here is the left side. Here is the anterior, posterior. Here will be lateral, here will be middle. This is the middle cerebral artery coming from medial to lateral. I will activate the spectral Doppler and I will get this sample volume of spectral wave Doppler and I will put inside the middle cerebral artery. And I will activate the spectral wave Doppler will, and will, I will get this very clear view of the Doppler study of the middle cerebral artery. As you see here, because as I said before, because the cerebral circulation is a low resistance circulation, so here is the marvelous dust tool. Very good flow in the dust tool, almost 50% of the dust tool, because this is the nature of the low resistance circulation. Here, you will freeze and you will measure the big systolic velocity and the end systolic velocity, and the machine will measure the pulse, pulse tilt index view. Here, another important point, because in the middle cerebral artery, the flow is towards my probe, so you will expect to see the waveform of the middle cerebral artery above the baseline because it is towards the probe. But if the flow is away from the probe, you will expect to see the waveform in, below the baseline, as we see in the anterior cerebral artery. This is the anterior cerebral artery of the right side. This is the posterior, anterior. This is the, the anterior cerebral artery in blue coming away from the probe and here is the waveform it is away from the probe so appear in the uh, blue the baseline okay the normal values and you expect the middle cerebral artery the maximum big velocity will be 80 because after beyond that 80 especially in the vasospasm with subacronal hemorrhage you will expect to reach 120 and even to 200 but the velocity in the posterior circulation vertebral artery and, and uh, uh, basal artery the velocity will be low you will expect the maximum will be 60 okay okay I now I have this my uh, in this video it is uh, actual study I did 
for uh, this middle cerebral artery, uh, including the color and the spectral flow. Uh, this, uh, as you see here, it was on the right side. This will be the probe, my uh, phase array probe will be here, here posterior, here uh, here anterior, and here is the brain stem, and you will expect the middle cerebral artery here. I will let uh, you to watch this uh, beauty and this uh, amazing video, and I will watch with you. Okay. Now I have this my uh, rope here. Here is the posterior, anterior, lateral, and medial. I will concentrate on this hypoechoic shadow, the butterfly shadow, which is the brain stem. In front of it, I will get this middle cerebral artery. I will increase the color doppler to make it homogeneous red, and I will focus on the, this middle cerebral artery. I will focus on it. I will focus on it. It's now very clear. I can increase the color a bit to make it homogeneous. Okay, now I get very good flow of the middle cerebral artery and my landmark is this butterfly, which is a brain cell. Really, it's very important landmark because you can get almost all vessels of the brain through this butterfly. After that, you need to... I will focus again, I focus again, I focus again. Okay, it's very clear now. You see, at five centimeters, you start to get this uh, red color because the middle cerebral artery is going from uh, the internal carotid here, from the medial, and going to the lateral towards the broad, so the uh, color will be red. I will activate the pulse wave doubler. I will decrease the bit to two millimeter. I will put in the center of the, this right side middle cerebral artery. I will activate the pulse doubler again. I will get this very clear and very beauty transcranial doppler of the middle cerebral artery. It's very clear. I will freeze now and I can take my measurement. I will choose the right side. I will choose middle cerebral artery. I will choose auto. I will put the first mark on the big systolic flow and last at the end of the systolic and I will get this BI 1.1 and the big systolic 62 and the end of the systolic 22. Yeah, and it's a bit range, it's not uh, normal result, but can be uh, accepted for both. So, as you see here, evaluation of the cerebral hemodynamic with transcranial doubler is a quick to perform, non-invasive, and relatively inexpensive compared to the CT, digital subtraction, angio, and the MRI. And the MRA, parameter including waveform morphology, pulse tilt index, direction of the flow, turbulence, all these will affect the diagnosis, and we can get a good idea about stenosis, vasospasm, intracranial vascular resistance, uh, intracranial uh, hypertension. And if you uh, so, if you watch uh, uh, my other videos about this value, the marvelous value of transcranial doppler in uh, various uh, diseases uh, we can uh, expect in intensive care unit like uh, the subacute hemorrhage, like stroke, like uh, head trauma. This really is a three major. Uh, category uh, we use a lot uh, of transcranial doubler and here is the long list of use of transcranial doubler i believe it is a must now in uh, anyone dealing with the neurocritical care uh, and you can review and you can watch uh, my videos about uh, this rule of transcranial doubler in different disease and at the end i need to thank you a lot for this for your time you give me time to watch these uh, lectures and i hope it will be uh, beneficial for you and see you in another complete story bye bye